Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. Welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. Um, this idea that I'm doing is actually from Meg with Books channel, so I'll link her down below so you can check her out. But she's doing this thing where she wraps up all the books in her TBR and each week she'll unwrap one and read it and do a reading vlog. And I'm doing something similar where I unwrapped a bunch of my TBR, but not all of it because that would be way too many books to wrap up. But um, since there are five weeks in the month of December, I'm having five of my friends pick books from this stack. Um, oh, it's heavy. There's 11 books here. There are actually 13, but I forgot to film this intro and I already had two friends pick books. So that's why I have two books already unwrapped. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I'm testing out my new ring light. It is interesting to say the least. Um, and then I also have like some lights here um, on my bookshelf. So I was trying to get a little bit into the holiday spirit. Um, but yeah, so I think I might just do like a big vlog at the end of the month for all the five books that I read. But um, yeah, we'll see. So I'll be video chatting with my friends. I'm not filming that part, but um, yeah. So you'll just have to take me on my word that I ask them which books to pick and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you when I finish asking my other three friends about which books to pick. And then um, I'll vlog my experience reading these books. Um, most of these are backlist titles that I have not read and I've owned them for ages, so time to fix that. <laughs> okay, see you soon. I totally noticed that I said unwrapping instead of wrapping my books, but um, yeah, anyways, I have my Santa hat again. I have my second day braid. It's a little messy, but um, these are the remaining books I have left. Um, my five friends have picked their books, and here's all the wrapping paper from it. So there was this one, and then this one, this one, this one, which is actually double-sided, so the striped one is still there, and this one, so the shiny wrapping paper, both of them have been picked. But um, yeah, here's the five books that my friends chose. It's a pretty good stack. Um, this one's a dystopian, this one's a fantasy standalone that is sort of dystopian, this one's um, kind of like a suspense thriller, thriller, this one's a fantasy, and this one's also a fantasy. So I think the one that I will start with will be Prophecy because I've been wanting to read this for forever and it's one of my oldest owned books. and. Also, it's the only book that um, doesn't have an audiobook because I looked up these other four books and they have audiobooks because I'm behind in this vlog. So I need to get reading because this month is almost over. And yeah, so shout out to my friend Jonathan who picked this book for me. Um, yeah, I'll update you later. <laughs> so it's been a few days. <laughs> I finally took out my messy braid yesterday and you can kind of see here with the wave, but yeah, it's, it's hard to see in this lighting, but it is wavy, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, update. I have read the first six chapters of this book. Also, I just noticed right here in the smoke, there's an outline of a dragon. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, there's so many things about this book, like, it's so strange because this book is a fantasy and the main character, um, although she's Asian, she's Korean, like most of the, the characters in this book are Korean. And um, the main character, Kira, she's basically been ostracized because people just fear her by how she looks. She has these yellow eyes that are like kind of off-putting. But she's actually like the prince's bodyguard, and she's very reliable, <laughs> and yeah. So just 
all that sort of like um not really discrimination well there's a bit of like sexism against her because she's the only female warrior in the king's guard but like there's other stuff that she just talks about being like lonely and being an outcast because people don't accept her everyone hates her just because of all these rumors and stuff um they all think the, that she's this sort of monster and i just like i really like connected with that and connected with her and man she's she's been through a lot and yeah but um I'm gonna continue reading I really like it so far and um, it's a relatively short book which is cool so yeah I'll check in later so it's time for another protein bar haul that I wanted to show you guys um, my friend gave me this one nature valley dark chocolate cherry which I was like Oh, this is cool. Haven't heard of this. It sounds yummy. So I need to try this. And then I have these. <laughs> I already opened these because I've been eating these. But um, Quest Bars that I've always wanted to try. Um, this one's the s'mores one. And this is the mint chocolate chunk one. And here's, this is what it looks like. The packaging on that one. Oh, and also this one looks pretty nice and then the last thing I have um, these are one bars these are so good <laughs> like I think these are my favorite so far of all these different types of protein bars that I've tried um, we have this almond bliss one and then we have this peanut butter cup one then we have chocolate chip cookie dough, which usually I'm not a fan of like cookie dough ice cream, but this bar was pretty good. And then my favorite of these four flavors was dark chocolate sea salt. Um, I think it's because of the sea salt on top that it made it quite um, delicious and it was actually sweeter too. So yeah, really liked it. But yeah, that's all for this protein bar haul. I'm going to eat them now. Hey, it's been a while since I've updated, like several weeks. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm in such a reading slump, but um, I am still enjoying this and I'm like this much of the way through. But um, I was going to finish it like a few days ago, but it's just like juggling all the reading that I have to do and end of year stuff. And um, yeah, ignore the lighting, it's really bad. But um, I finally showered, so that's at least one thing out of the way. And um, I'm doing laundry right now. I have a candle um, in the corner. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and read this really quick because the audiobook is due tomorrow and um, there's a hold on it. So I need to finish it, return it, and then I'll go back to this one so I'll update you later about how that goes but yeah so just wanted to check in since it's been a while it's almost 4 a.m. and it's cold and um, this is my new like Bluetooth headband um, earbud thing um, that my friend got me for Christmas, so I used it to listen to the audiobook for the testing, which I just finished. And um, thanks to my friend DJ at DJ Reads Books, I'll link his bookstagram down below, for um, choosing this book for me from my wrapped pile of books. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to give it a four star. Um, it it's a dystopian and it gave me like serious like Hunger Game vibes because of like the survival aspects of the book but yeah it's very interesting I really like the main character she's very like resilient and um, resourceful and yeah she she's really cool um, but yeah there was the one line where 
it said that she released a breath that she didn't know that she was holding, which I'm like, yeah, that that one line and why that is kind of not great. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna, I don't know what I'll read next. Um, well, I really should finish this one. So yeah, I'll update you if I have to finish one of the other books before this one, but the month's almost over. So I need a, I need to finish my books. But yeah, I'll check in later. So now for um, the second book of this vlog, I will be starting this one, Rebel of the Sands, um, because the audio the audiobook expires tomorrow. So I kind of need to finish this. But um, this is one of my most anticipated ones to read out of this entire vlog. And yeah, my really good friend who was basically Howl from Howl's Moving Castle cho chose this one for me. So excited to dive into it. So I'll check in later when I've finished the book. <laughs> so yeah. Aren't these bunnies adorable? So the mo mother bunny is named Marshmallow. And then these are all the baby bunnies. Um, my friend Howl kind of owns slash watches over these and he ended up selling these baby bunnies so this is old footage and um yeah there's also chickens that you can hear so yeah but they are super super adorable and i enjoyed playing with them yep so i finished this and the audiobook in time and it was so good i gave it five stars and yeah, I've been wanting to read this for years. Like I've owned it for like four years, <laughs> um, technically five now because it's a new year. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> it was so good. I actually ordered the other two books in the trilogy on Book Depository because um, the UK covers match this cover because the US covers, they changed and they have a person on the cover and I don't like those covers so yeah that's why I don't own the rest of the series but yeah finally bought them but um, Book Depository is kind of delayed in shipping right now because UK shipping and like the pandemic and stuff so yeah but um, this was really awesome I do have a bookmark as well <laughs> that came with it when I got this book signed at um, the book signing years ago but um, it's funny because this is blurbed by Ray Carson who is the author of the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy and while I was reading this I definitely did get like massive like Girl of Fire and Thorns vibes like it just like the story reminded me a lot of that story but like for different reasons but it's just like it's just the vibes <laughs> so yeah it was really really good um I didn't see the the twists or like yeah I didn't see them coming and um yeah I can't wait to read the other two books in the series now so yeah and this is such a pretty addition um yeah so now I can go back to finishing this because it's been a while so yeah I need to read this so I'll check in later when I'm done with this so it's late. It's 4 a.m. I curled my hair a few days ago and it's it's looking a bit more muted now and you know I've slept with this but anyways I finally finished Prophecy by Ellen O. Um, if I sound funny I have my retainer in so didn't want to take it out because I need to go to sleep after this anyway. But yeah I gave this 4.5 .4 out of 5 stars um or i mean a five on goodreads but yeah this came out in 2013 so it's more of like earlier ya um it's also one of like the few like ya books back then that was written by an asian author as well as like featuring an asian protagonist um i really enjoyed it it was exciting fast play fast 
fast paced. It had a good plot. Um, I really resonated with a lot of um, the story and also the main character and um, the prince who's 12, um, who the main character is protecting because she's his bodyguard. Um, he really like grows up a bit in this book. So instead of just being like a little bit of a spoiled kid, um, he kind of learns to make mistakes and also, um, yeah, not having Kira protect him all the time. But yeah, I really, I really liked this book. Um, the reason that it's like more of a 4.5, I was even considering a 4 at one time, at one point, but um, I think this book is really good for its time. And I love Ellen O. She was so amazing when I met her. So yeah, there was, um, there was a part where um, they meet these like heavenly maidens and one of them was described as just arrogant looking, which yeah, I was like, okay, that doesn't really do it for me. It's like saying like she was happy or she was sad, which I learned about in my writing program. Like, yeah, you don't describe people like that because the other heavenly maidens, they were described um, by their physical attributes as well as like also a bit of like their personalities. But this one maiden was only described as arrogant looking and then she was quite sarcastic and stuff. And then Kira, the main character, decided like, oh, I don't like this arrogant looking maiden. So yeah, that was kind of strange. Also, um, there were like a couple cliches like hair as dark as night and skin as white as snow but yeah so I mean that could have been improved on and then um, we went through this whole book without like that one dreaded line in YA that comes up a lot and then literally on the last page the line showed up and it was she unconsciously released the breath that she was, well, actually she released the breath that she was unconsciously holding was the exact line. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, but I still really like this book. I have the other two books, so I can't wait to read them. And yeah, that's all for this update for now. I still have two more books to read for this vlog to be finished and over. And I'll insert other like fun clips since I haven't really left the house much, but I have some like old vlog footage that I'll insert just for your enjoyment. But yeah, so I'll check in next time when I start the next book. So you're probably wondering what this is. Um, they are little mini Venus fly traps that my friend Hal gave to me because his other ones died after he forgot to water them. Okay, so I feel like this vlog has gone on forever, but I'm almost done. I have these two books left to read, and yeah, so I think I was looking at the audiobooks for like how long they are. This one's about 12 hours, this one's about 8 hours, so I think I'll read this one first and then end the vlog with reading this one. So yeah, I'll update you, I guess, maybe either halfway or when I'm done with this, whenever I feel like it. So yeah, see you in a bit. So it's been rainy and cold, so I'm snuggled up in bed. Um, but I finished this book. I was going to check in earlier when I was like about like this much in, when I wasn't like really enjoying it as much. Um, but then I just decided to push on. And then I got hooked <laughs> and I finished it and it was really messed up. Um, you find out why there's this cicada on the cover. Um, it goes with one of the messed up things in it. But um, my friend Ashley chose this book from my wrapped up TBR. So shout out to her. If you've watched my December wrap up, um, she's in that video. So. Yeah, um, so this book, this is actually the second book signing I ever went to in my life. Um, it was back in 2015, and then later on, Melissa Marr was actually 
um, one of the VCFA faculty for just a semester. Um, but yeah, she's super cool. Um, she's really well known for the Wicked Lovely series, which I haven't read yet. Those are fairy books. Um, but this one's a standalone. It's like a southern gothic um, thriller type book. And it has a little bit of like a paranormal or fabulous element where the main character, Eva, um, she gets hit by a car and then she wakes up in the hospital and then she's acquired this ability that um, when she touches people, she's able to see how they die. And it's really interesting. So she suffers from traumatic brain injury after this car accident and uh, this book is told in three perspectives her perspective her best friend grace's perspective who is asian and also um the stalker slash serial killer's perspective and just his chapter is like man it's just so messed up and melissa talked about how when she was in grad school in north carolina back in the day and she worked at a biker bar and she had a stalker back then and to this day he still hasn't been caught and yeah it's just really messed up so yeah there are so many things about this book i ended up giving it um i think like 4.5 stars um so five on goodreads but yeah it's it's so messed up but um yeah you'll you'll just have to read it to see what else i don't want to get too spoilery but um there besides traumatic brain injury it also um talks about um cystic fibrosis and then also face blindness which um yeah which melissa moore actually has face blindness so that was really interesting um i think it was really well written how like messed up the killer is and just his his logic it was just like yeah and he's a teenager so yeah lots lots of messed up things in this book so if you like dark messed up characters and books then i would suggest this if not then probably don't read this but yeah now i'm moving on to my final book which is the Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons, and this one my friend Jasmine chose for me, so shout out to her. And once I finish this book, I'll be finally done with this vlog, so yeah, but I will update you later. So bye for now. So I got these new tarot cards, and it's my first deck ever. And they're super pretty. I got them from Etsy. I'll link them down below if you're wondering where I got them. And yeah, so that's the little booklet that tells you all about tarot. And then I just go by, go through them one by one to show you how pretty all the designs are. So yeah, hope you enjoy this little bit. And yeah, that's all.
So I finished it, gave it five stars. This one really surprised me, which, um, yeah. So instead of like a fantasy, like I thought this would be, this was kind of more of like a dystopian. And um, after reading the synopsis and then also reading the book, it actually reminded me a bit of like The Handmaid's Tale because the main character lives in this like dystopian world where women are basically just treated as property. And yeah, the only value of being a woman is to be sold and used to make babies. And the best thing that women in her society can hope for is to become some man's forever wife. Um, but the main character, Aya, she lives like in the wilderness with her family until like the trackers catch her one day. And then she ends up being groomed to be sold at auction. And yeah, the first like half-ish of the book, like I was pretty sickened by the people in the society. And yeah, it was just so many things. But um, it was really interesting social commentary, I guess you could say. Um, the title, you get to find out near the end that it's kind of more symbolic. Um, it's based on this like fable that's told in the story that um, basically has to deal with sacrifice. But yeah, so I thought that was interesting since it has the cover has an actual glass arrow. So that was not what I expected. Um, I thought this would be more literal. Um, yeah, but it's still a very beautiful cover. And I mean, what else? Um, oh, there is a trigger warning for like a suicide, like a side character who's unnamed. Um, so not one of the main characters. But yeah, just know that going in. Um, and yeah, there's just, there's a lot in this book. It's, it's interesting. Um, but now I'm finally finished with this vlog. Oh my gosh, I thought it would never end. <laughs> But um, I forgot to show you that for all of these books, um, these ones are all signed. So this one, I met Kristen and she signed it for me. And it says, uh, for Tiffany, who is worth more than all the stars in the night sky, which I thought was a really nice inscription. And then for this one, um, it says to Tiffany, there are always choices. And then... This one, she wrote to Tiffany, be the hero of your own story. And then this one, she wrote to Tiffany, join the rebellion. And this one, what did she write? Oh, it just says, Tiffany, thanks for passing the testing. So, yeah, and then underneath this one doesn't have anything special underneath. This one, it's just a pretty green. This one, uh, it has the word prophecy stamped into it. And it's a blue, nice blue. This one... Oh, it's just blue and black. Well, kind of a teal color. And this one's also kind of a teal color with the reddish spine, uh, foil spine. Um, yeah, so I think if I were to rank these in order of my favorites, it would be... Hmm. Oh, this is hard. Um, I guess it's really hard to rank these, but I guess it would be the, like this. Um, this one was my absolute favorite, and then I love this one. I like this one. I like this one. This one I gave four stars, but I liked it as well. So, yeah, I loved all of these books. Um, yeah, none of them were like any bad ratings for me. 
And yeah, so that's the end of this vlog. I hope you liked all the extra footage I included in here as well. And yeah, this is really late, so it is now February <laughs> and no longer the holidays. But yeah, see y'all in my next video. Bye!